Hey guys, I got things set back up for pull-ups to watch. Um, today's going to be 10 pull-ups, probably 10, 5, 3. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'd like to, I want to decrease the volume as the first set goes up. So I'm about maybe one, two days from reaching my max number for right now. Um, I barely got 12 last time I went through this cycle. Um, with today being 10, it hasn't been a great cycle, it hasn't felt great, but hey, we're gonna see what comes. Um, and then, it is my tentative, tentative um, reintroduction to kettlebell sport. I got my two 12 kilogram bells here, um, we're going to see. I'm taking a long cycle. However, I just did a really light set with an 8 kilogram of jerks. Jerks feel okay. I'm not sure how the cleans are going to feel. That's the issue with my back right now. I am going to have my belt on, um, but the belt isn't tight. It's not meant to offer maximum support so much as to help. Um, you're not resting your elbows when you're in the rack position, but it helps create sort of a shelf for your t-shirt which provides a launching pad and also keeps your hands from spreading down. Um, it's a technique-driven sport. I spend, since I've done double, double kettlebells, it's probably been over three years. I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know how my back's gonna feel. Didn't wanna wait until Monday. I figured if I do today, that I have two days of recovery before I try again on Monday. Um, over the weekend would just be pull-ups and easy burpees, like 25 reps. So I'm gonna do my set of long cycle. I'm hoping for two minutes. We'll see. Followed by some band presses and then um, easy 25 burpees of some sort. Probably just, um, <laughs> probably just one pump. We're gonna see, we're gonna get started guys. Ten second countdown. I got 20 minutes on the clock, but it's just sort of a guidance. Better. 10 reps. Man, you know what's gonna suck? I hadn't thought of this. My grip. My grip is gonna suck um, after three sets of pull-ups, doing my long cycle. That's okay now. happy with that 10. It felt pretty good. I actually felt better than 9. Definitely could have gotten another. We'll see how tomorrow goes for 11. Um, so yeah, I think the jerk might go better than long cycle. Let's see how that initial rep feels when I clean. And I'll see how I feel tomorrow with my back. Um, when I get that initial rep, if there's any issue, any tugging with the back, I'm going to go immediately in the jerks, and we'll do just jerks for now. If I thought I could manage um, even light snatches afterwards, maybe we'll do um, jerks and snatches. 
which is a biathlon kettlebell sport. Um, they do love jerks. My actually my favorite move, more so than uh, long cycle. The long cycle works so much, and it was the exercise that really prepared me for uh, ultra running. But that biathlon, the jerk and the snatches, also pretty well well rounded. Um, so we're gonna see. What I wanted to say was, I have a goal. I'm not gonna work up heavy in my long cycle or my jerks or my snatches. If I can get to working sets with the double 16s, which used to be just a warm up for me. When I started kettlebell sport, I immediately jumped in with the 24s, um, even learning the technique. But that was a different me. Um, in April, April 17th, I'm gonna be 60 years old. Um, man, it sounds weird just to even say that. I'd like to get a 60 minute, 10 minute set. 60, I'm sorry, 10 minute set with 60 reps on my 60th birthday. Five reps. two reps to finish. So when I did the really light set with the 18 kilogram, or I'm sorry, with the uh, 8 kilogram, boy that's a big difference. Um, the technique still felt there still felt good there. You know, like I had the movement down. It's always different with doubles. It's always different when the weight gets heavier. As well, I only did jerks. I didn't do long cycle. That's going to be different. We'll see about muscle memory. How true that actually is. So the goal is going to be the plan is Monday, two sets of long cycle, or pull-ups, two sets of long cycle, um, then an upper body focus. will be dips, maybe presses, uh, and hopefully 25 burpees, just to keep them in the game. Um, Tuesday, just pull-ups and burpees. Wednesday, another two sets um, long cycle. It's supposed to be a lower body focus, but I don't know if I'm ready to add squats to the mix. So it might be burpees and then a couple easy sets of bodyweight squats. Friday's gonna be a longer set. So let's say Monday I start with two sets of one rep, or I'm sorry, two sets of one minute. Um, and I'll progress. A couple weeks to get the hang of it, I do two two minute sets. Probably not gonna work out to any more than a six minute set except for maybe occasionally on that long day, I'll do a test to see where I am. Friday's gonna be the long day. Then they get two. Two reps. lined up. So, if this goes horribly wrong, no one's ever going to see this video. That's pretty much a promise. I'm going to have it slightly tighter than I normally would do on long side. is to, you want the uh, shirt out. If it was heavier, 
if I was more serious about it, I would get a spray bottle like I used to do. You spray your shirt to keep it from swimming. I'm going to use just a little bit of chalk. Don't have a whole lot left. If I have any left, we'll see. Very little. I'm going to have to order some guys. I'm going to start in 20 seconds. Two minutes set is what I hope for. Wish me luck. It's going to be a shallow clean, meaning I'm not going all the way through. A little bit of banging to be expected. I was going to do overhead press. I'm not. It felt surprisingly okay on my back. But I don't know how it's going to feel later today, or tomorrow, or even Sunday. And although my back is better, a year of rehabbing, um, I got six. And seven. <clears throat> it felt pretty good. Um, my back is tweaked, meaning just moving in the wrong direction with something. Just shifting. That's how I originally heard it, um, or reheard it, last year, doing something stupid. However, um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes over the weekend. And I'll be back on Monday to give it another shot. Until then, I'm on a minimalistic program. The goal is just 25 burpees. That might be optional. I'm going to start. seconds. 
And I'm just gonna do 25 one pumps. That's it. We got a little bit of yoga to do after this. Nasal breathing, 25 reps. the long side. for the bar for a few seconds. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me on my tentative um, stepping back into kettlebell sport. Um, the 12s felt pretty good. Good starting weight. I'm going to work with that for a while before I'm ready for the 16s. I said the same thing about the um, get-ups. I'm going to miss doing the get-ups. I like them. Hard time fitting them in. Um, but maybe Maybe Friday will be a long cycle, pull-ups, long set of long cycle, get-ups, and um, burpees. I don't know. I'm still figuring things out. Um, so, I don't know what to say. don't know what to talk about. I want to talk about kettlebells, kettlebell sport. Um, if I'm going to be holding on to burpees, I don't know. One of the things that I've... Um, talked about recently in some of my live streams and a live stream friend said they found it uh, helpful for them and I call it the sacred shrug or the holy shrug and it is literally shrugging my shoulders I don't have an answer 
but more importantly, I'm letting go of the need to have the answer. I'm letting the universe handle the details. In the language of A Course in Miracles, turning things over to the Holy Spirit. I feel prompted to do kettlebells, long cycle, um, and uh, set a goal. And I haven't had a fitness goal quite a bit of time. Don't necessarily know I need one, but it spontaneously came to me that I would like one. So I'm setting one, giving me something to work towards. I hope my body's up for it. Don't be afraid to shrug. It's important on my live streams when I'm talking about you know issues of forgiveness. I'm talking about um, meditation, breath work, and yoga. And a lot of times people will ask a question with an ultimate answer. Is there a God? What happens after we die? Um, things along those lines. Very cosmic. All important questions. And my initial reaction is to give a platitude. You know, um, well, when we die, we become all-encompassing awareness. Uh, we go to heaven. We reincarnate. It's stuff that I have read about. Nothing I've ever actually experienced. However, I have experienced the pure simplicity of being aware. And that awareness doesn't have a need for answers. So when I go by my own experience, when I go to respond instead of react to those all important questions, I come to that holy shrug, the sacred shrug. I don't know. More importantly, when you're in that space of just, just relaxing, of just beingness itself, the need for answers, the need for certainty is diminished to the point where all you can do is smile and shrug um, and reside in that space, that space of not knowing. So, what's going to happen with kettlebells? What's going to happen with kettlebell sports? Am I going to reach my goal? Am I going to stick with my goals? Are burpees going to be abandoned uh, and replaced for just kettlebell long cycle? Can my back withstand uh, what might or might not be good for it or bad for it? The answer is, I don't know. We're going to find out, guys.